So I had a 20 week ultrasound and after my 20 week ultrasound, we got a phone call saying that they thought something was wrong with our baby's heart and that he had a heart defect. Yeah, when we found out there was gonna be an issue, we had uh, maybe a couple options. One was in Philadelphia, one was here. There were maybe a few other ones. We came here for an interview and we uh, met with a doctor and he was very, it just caught me how confident he was, you know, and how well he could explain the process to someone who's not that familiar with the medical industry. The transposition of the great arteries is when two of the main arteries from the heart are transposed or switched so the blood doesn't circulate the way that it should. Uh, the only way to um, keep a baby alive that has transposition is to have corrective surgery. So we made the comment like, well, we want you to do the surgery. And he said, there's two of us that could possibly do it. It doesn't matter which one does it because we're both great at what we do. So at that point I was hooked. Like this, they're that confident in their abilities. They're that confident in each other's abilities that we were at the right place. When I had Carver, um, they took him to the NICU right away. When he was a couple days old, they did an exploratory cath procedure just to really get a really good look at the heart and make sure it was ready to go. And then when Carver was six days old, he had open heart surgery. Surgery lasted most of the entire day, but all in all, after 33 days, we got to bring him home. I don't treat him any differently than any other child or if he does well. He gets a checkup every year, gets an echocardiogram, and Carver is compassionate, caring, a handful to deal with sometimes. Carver is Carver's doing great today. He is ambitious and loves sports, and he's always running around, and he you wouldn't know. If he didn't show you his scar, you wouldn't know anything happened to him. My hopes and dreams are that he's happy in life, and he finds a passion in life that lets him help people, whether it be the medical field or anything, just to give back. He's got the opportunity to give back. Carver's journey changed our family's lives in a lot of different ways. When we were at the hospital, we just were so impressed with all of the nurses and how everyone cared for everyone. They cared for us, cared for Carver. Every February, we try and do something to um, give back to the heart community during Harlem. And last year, we were having a conversation, well, what should we do this year? And Carver really likes to read. And he said, let's, let's do a book drive. Let's give books to the kids that are in the hospital with heart defects. And so I just put out on social media for people to, hey, if you want to, you want to send books here are some ideas um, and the books just started flooding in and Carver had so much fun with it and just watching him through that experience and get so excited every time a new book would come he would always say like oh someone's gonna love this one like he just he got so excited and he uh, it was just at that moment I really saw him shine through okay, if Carver's caregivers were in the room right now I'd definitely tell him thank you he gave a uh, a young child, a chance at life. He's thriving, he's doing amazing. The most important thing in my life was make sure my child is safe and healthy. It's, you know, we only had one shot and that happened and that was here and he got that shot and he's doing great. Thank you for helping me so much. I really appreciate that, thank you. His care team literally saved his life and if we wouldn't have had the resources, if we wouldn't have had the support, the advocates in the room for him, he wouldn't be here today.